Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and I am loving that I've got solar panels on the roof of my garage, cranking away producing electricity. But it's winter in Wisconsin, and another thing I'd love to do is just heat my garage, but to do it nice and simple and inexpensively. And a great way to do that is through something called passive solar. Basically, you just let the light and the heat directly into a building through south-facing windows. Now, I don't have any south-facing windows here. I have this big garage door, so what I did is I added uh, glazing, basically plexiglass and a wood frame, in front of one of my garage doors. So now I can let all the heat and light straight into my garage, and on cloudy days and at night, I can still close the insulated garage door behind it. So let's go inside and take a look at how I built this. To start with, I needed a plan, so I measured the rough opening of the garage door, 9 foot by 7 foot, and worked my numbers out from there, planning to use 4 foot wide plexiglass and 1 by 6 lumber. I used pre-primed 1x6s for a quick finished look without me trying to paint outside in below freezing temperatures. We chopped the wood to length and ripped the side pieces a little narrower. Next, we laid the wood out to its general rectangular shape. The frame is squared up and pegged with woodworking dowels, first drilling holes for the dowels, dry fitting them, and then finally gluing and assembling. Measuring opposite diagonals is one way to check for square. I used a piece of scrap material to hold the frame square and clamped it with ratchet straps while the glue dried. The next day, I routed a groove the thickness of the plexiglass on the inside of the wood frame. I squared up the corners with a wood chisel. I tested out my wood frames in the garage door opening and it generally looked pretty good. The 8 foot tall plexiglass had to be cut shorter. I scored it multiple times with a knife and straight edge, and then bent it over a hard corner until it snapped along the score line. I test fit the plexiglass into the wood frame. When I was happy with it, I pulled back the edge of the protective paper and applied a bead of clear weatherproof caulk. Next, I added blocking to the corners, pre-drilling, countersinking, and installing inch and a quarter screws. The blocking greatly adds strength to the corners and holds the plexiglass in place. I added blocking in the middle of the sides as well. To install the doors, we placed the right hand one first, holding it in place with blocks and shims, made sure it was plumb and level, and then attached it to the opening with some salvaged door hinges. Because the opening was slightly out of square, we had to plane down one edge of the other door to fit the frame and first half, and then mounted that with hinges as well. Here is a view uh, from the inside. I just opened the overhead garage door uh, while test fitting kind of our French storm doors. And overall looks, looks pretty good from where we are at the moment, still test fitting and making adjustments. The next morning, it was sunny, and while I intended to leave the protective paper in place to prevent scratches to the plexiglass, I couldn't resist removing it and letting the light in. The project was looking great already. Taking the paper off the other side, I could really see how much light and heat this door would let in. Now for the interior of the doors, I originally planned just to use some blocking on the corners to give it some strength, and then I had lots of a wood trim around already, so I thought I could save some materials costs by just using this trim that I already had to cover up the edges of the plexiglass. In the end, I decided not to do that. Uh, the trouble was the trim and the 1x6s I would have used for blocking on the corner were two different thicknesses and also two different widths. So it looked a little odd, but worse than that is I didn't have a nice flat continuous surface for the weather stripping to go against. So what I did is I got some more of the 1x6 material, I cut it to the size needed to go around the frame, and I did an interior framework to the door, pulling off that original corner blocking and adding in the right size 1x6 pieces to completely frame out the inside of the door. To build a threshold, I cut a pressure-treated 2x4 to the width of the entire door frame. I used a jigsaw to notch the ends to go around the existing door trim and hammered the 2x4 down into place. I cut and screwed down a 1-inch piece of cedar. This provides a stop for the bottom of the door to close against. 
foam weather stripping goes between this piece and the bottom of the door. To hold the door shut, I bought a pair of brass barrel bolts. One goes up into the top frame, and the other goes down into the threshold. For the main door seal, I used nail-on garage door weather stripping. The rigid part was a little too wide, so I ripped it down on the table saw. I then screwed it across the top and down the side of the door, overlapping it in the corner for a good seal. The door itself was now well sealed up, but plexiglass by itself isn't much of an insulator, so I added a heat shrink patio door insulator kit. This is held in place by double-sided tape, and the plastic is shrunk with a hairdryer. It's extremely clear and almost hard to see unless you look at the corner where there is some extra material. Overall, the passive door works great. It lets in plenty of sunshine, which is absorbed by the 5-inch thick concrete with 2 inches of foam insulation under it, warming the garage. I can open the insulated overhead door on sunny days to let the heat in. Both halves of my glazed exterior door swing open so that I can still move a car in and out. At night and on cloudy days, I keep the overhead door closed to hold the heat inside. So that's it for the Passive Solar Garage Door. I hope you enjoy learning about my projects. As always, check out the blog at 300mpg.org. I also have this posted on instructables.com. If you enjoy my YouTube videos, please subscribe. I'd love that. And until next time, stay charged up.